Good morning, gentlemen. Right, another tip. I don't see this. I don't see this. This is no traditional method, and I should be seeing more of it. Right. This build, okay, look at the scenery, the scenery, the locality of it, okay? What are we worrying about? What should we be worrying about? Come on, tell me. Rodents coming up. So we used to do this time, it doesn't matter if you're urban or rural, you should be doing this on your extensions. Guys, throw it in, because it's an over and extra. The client, nine times out of 10, is gonna say yes. It's gonna probably earn you another thousand, few hundred quid, okay? Right, so what I'm gonna do at plate height, we've run a big bed, Right, so what I'm going to do is measure off, okay? I'm going to measure that. So, we're going to put a bit in there. Run your bed first properly, you know the crack. So your mesh sits in the bed. Squeeze it down. Make sure she's on the inner leaf for your block work as well. Good, so what I've done now, I've got a cut down an L shape to cover that end of the cavity. Right, so push it down. Right, now what this does is it stops any mice, rats, anything uh, festing coming up through the cavity into the loft, which is a major problem, okay? Absolute major problem. You know, the amount of people I know and see doing stuff and repairs. So what I'm gonna do now is tack her to the thermalite. Come close. You see? The good craftsman knows his game. Comes up with all these techniques. You know, pest control not gonna like me, but it is what it is. What you don't want when you do an extension build, the poor old customer, years down the line, gets a mice festering in their old loft, creates problems. Now this is an old school method, especially coming from London where I am, obviously high infested with it because the underground sewage system welcomes the rats, etc. And what this does is it just secures or helps prevent, should I say, you know, the little bastards, you know, they're like, they will chew. But this will help prevent, you know. And as a tradesman, the client, tell the client, advise them. Say, look, this is what we're going to do to control pest control, you know. I see many people doing extensions. I've, I've not seen this. Comment below when the last time you was, you see this. Or you heard of someone doing this. Now, I'm all about trying to help and improve one's game, one's knowledge. Listen, extra couple of hours of your time, you know, over an extra, put it on top of the bill. The client wants it or they don't. I'm telling you now, nine times out of 10, they're gonna take it. It should be standard in all builds, new builds, old builds. It should be standard, I think. But what do I know? You know, I'm gonna push that in right in there. That's it. Right close. Yeah. In we go. Beautiful. So now any rodents coming up, it's gonna stop. We've got a little bit of a bag in this there. I'm gonna put a couple more in here. Make sure you've got good centers with your fixings. Because what you don't want is the little bastards coming through. Good. So make sure that's traditional in your bed. And then we'll put the wall plate on. Just sizing it up. Let's see if we can cut this in. Now, remember what I said, these little tips, they don't, they're not teaching these youngsters these days. You know, this is old school knowledge. Better me if you can, you know. 
Guys, extensions, noobles, what I was saying to you, put it to the client, make sure you get this in, okay? It's a simple job, and it's so effective in what you do. Give that a good squeeze down, make sure that mesh is pinched. Yeah, always flip the level, we know that, don't we? So, again, it's just, it's just a matter of wanting to do a bit, wanting to do a nice job, taking an extra precaution, you know? I mean, especially in here, like I said, with the locality, right in the middle. We're in the middle of Greenbelt, right in the middle of the farm. So we know rollers are gonna be a problem. Putting this in helps prevent. Guys, listen, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoying these little tips. God bless. See you soon.